Well, hello there. Um, I'm here at the NIFCA Visual Arts 2019 Arts, Craft and Photography Exhibitions in Scenic Spike Stone. Very beautiful space and we are going to do just a brief vlog to introduce to you all of the medal winners that would have been successful in being exhibited at Spike Stone, the Spike Stone location. We wanted to really privilege, um, especially the schools in the north, for example, Alexandria and Corrigan Parry, and encourage them to bring out their students to look at these uh, wonderful talents on display. We would have already walked to all of the, or many of the businesses for that matter in the area, including even car washers, barber shops, and we continue to do this during the whole process while well, our team of attendants are here. And we do this on a rotational basis to encourage people to come and see the exhibition which is free to the public open from november the 11th and will close on on um november the 29th as we celebrate our national independence uh, celebrations here in barbados as you see i'm wearing my barbados hat and my proud independence colors and i would like to introduce to you shortly mr shakil stout and miss shelly smith moore from the nifco visual arts and photography to just give us a brief tour and walk through of the exhibits on display so join us and have some fun Butchery, i'm here with shakil uh, stout and miss shelly smith moore and they're going to be giving us a brief walk through of the exhibits on display at spice town so tell us about it shak how are you doing guys my name is shakil stout as you already said um, i'm a gallery attendant for the nifco 2019 Arts and craft and photography sure. If you come this way, you'll be able to see. And you, Shelly, my friend, can tell us about you. I am Shelly Smith. I'm the gallery attendant, the gallery attendant for Nifka Photography 2019. We have various pieces of photography down here. Two black metal, silver, and the others are bridged down. Okay, so very nice, we'll let you show us them in a minute, but we'll start by with Shaq now. He takes us to the art and then you'll take us to the photography. Welcome. Start here. This is some of the finest Trojan art. It's a fire bracket. She's from the Alexandra School in the North. Very well organized and structured print. She got silver, she's only 15 years old. Excellent. And what about here? Tell me this whole board. Tell me board by board, Shaq. Yeah. This is Garth Ferguson. He's from the Providence Secondary School. Not really from the North, but still very good work. Um, here, well, I don't always have to be from the North, but we would have privileged <laughs> or spread around. But we have a nice piece the, here. Um, this, this piece is from Tyler Mick Nichols. This is from the, also from the Providence Secondary School. Also, another nice print. I love it. Won the Barbados National Trust Heritage Focus Award. And wow. Also, an incentive award. Very good, so very, very good. good. Taps off to Tyler. Yes. And Olive, I mean, also from the Providence. Providence really did some very, very good work this year. Also, with another silver award. Hats off to Providence. And yeah, what do we have here now in this last this piece on the sport here? It's Tygo Morris from the Alexander. Not a North boy. Yes. Yeah, he's he wants silver. He also won a silver. Okay, let's move over here to this piece. Let me let you take um. This is a the a in the professional piece. Yes. This is from Mr. Carter. Carter Cocker. Cocky yes. Carter. Mr. Cocky Carter. Right. Let me get the name right. Cocky Carter. Congrats, Cocky. You won a bronze award for this lovely piece. It looks like a, like, like a cart. Yeah. 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 It's very good. It's very very good. Very good. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the piece is entitled um, Blue Blue Shadows. Lovely. So you can see here in blue the composition some lovely, well treated blue chapel houses in the background of the composition. And a miss with some lovely, lovely, well treated foliage. Uh, so you would have caught a bronze in the adult non professional uh, category for this. And then we move over to Nicholas Canterbury of Her Majesty's Prison Dodds because Dodds Prison also has a presence in the exhibition. He would have caught a bronze for the piece titled Crop Over. And I guess you can see why. Tell us about this piece, Shaq, in your opinion. How do you feel about it? This piece is very, very, very well. And I love all the detail and everything. It's very good. Uh, for me, honestly, I believe it should have gone a little bit more, but I'm not a judge. But for me, I would have given it as probably a silver. That, that's how you feel about it. Yeah. That's how I feel about it. Yeah. Everyone has their own opinion. Yeah. And that's my opinion. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's very, very nice. You see all the water puddles, yeah. you're walking the cattle, the trees in the background. That's right. You're making the cane. You see everything, I can actually feel like I'm actually there. Flying like the bird here. Yeah. Yes. 
Okay, let's continue along the wall here. Oh, we have even coming from the ceiling a nicely suspended piece. Another uh, Alexandra piece. Yeah, that's beautiful. It's like Camille Ramsey. Aha. Uh -huh. Or silver. Yes. This makes me a piece. Wow. And right, we go along this wall here. And we this have. This is also from the Asian. Davis Jones. Jones is running this yeah. silver here. Yeah. Oh, lovely animals. And what about here now? Oh, wow. Davison is painting, man. Yes, two silvers. One for this beautiful chattel house here. Oh, it's lovely. And then we have here another talent from Giselle, Giselle Haynes. Uh, let's just get the name right. Alexander School, uh, age 15. Has a beautiful mask here. Wow. Wow, look at this. Oh, it's very striking and look for the first time in a while I'm seeing some night scenes being done by our talented students as well uh, Fair Sky Agard winning a bronze for the piece what's the title here? The title? Nictophobia Fair of the Night I mean, in the 15 to 17 category for the painting and this looks like a Corgian Parry School. Oh, very good work by our teacher there, Colvin, Mr. Colvin Carrington, and in the north, Mr. Wayne Hines from the Alexander School. Both very good teachers in the north, uh, sharing with us. Again, Sky Agard, another bronze. Very interesting piece, very well depicted. Um, looking in the style of surrealism. A man running, subject in the field there, running from some ants. And um, let's move along quickly. Uh, we have here again Sky Yeagard, a very versatile graphic art piece, uh, winning another bronze award in the north. And Alessandro again! Yes, uh, a bronze for this lovely uh, print here, a lovely registration on the print here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pineapples created in the craft section of the age 14, 12 to 14 category. And what an interesting style here. See all the talent from our children in Barbados? And he won a, it's like a goal for this piece, yes. Uh, yes, and he's from, uh, he's an individual entry. And as we move on to uh, Sapphire Phoenix of Alexander School, it looks like it's a bronze. I love how the ice, it really feels, Sapphire graphic correction. It really looks like ice in the mouth here. Very talented students here from the north and indeed the entire section of Barbados. And again, Sapphire Braffitt winning a silver. Yeah. Uh, all silvers, golds, and All silvers, golds, and bronze here. For these various pieces here. Wow, well lovely prints. Well done, Sapphire. Oh, beautiful stippling here on this piece. Very versatile student. Lovely rendition of stippling here for the pieces here. And Cole Morris from Alexander School as well. Lovely print. And we have Jordan, Jordan Blackman, St. Luke's Academy. So St. Luke's, if you're listening, come on out and uh, see the pieces, beautiful pieces here on display. And then we have Hassan Grant, St. Luke's Academy again, winning a silver for this lovely, lovely, in the 68 category, um, octopus. And then we have Alessandra Bejerkum, uh, Full Moon Princess is the title of the piece, 68 category, acrylic on canvas. And from the St. Luke's Academy again. Oh, lovely cat here. Oh, well done, man. Silver award for this piece. Uh, we have Samantha uh, from the Alexander School. I'm trying to make the last name out here, but this is Samantha Kinnard from the Alexander School. I hope I got that right. Uh, she's winning a silver here for a lovely treated turtle in relief. And then Ikino Ikishi. We're in a bronze for the Lost Lamb painting, individual entrant um, from the Alexander School in St. Peter. And then we have Ricardo Nightingale from Her Majesty's Prison Dolls, copying a bronze award for the wonderful, well done, like a jigsaw puzzle, national flag here in Barbados. And uh, we have then Davidson Jones here with this piece, winning a bronze award, again from HMP Dolls. Yes, you're hearing a lot about Davidson Jones here. And Asquith King, uh, he's also won some lovely shells here, seashells here. Acrylic on canvas piece here. Wow, very beautiful. Makes you want to go to the beach. And um, then we have here 
Then we have here Paulette, Paulette Blainman. We have here Paulette Blainman. And uh, winning the bronze for the piece here. Lovely welding piece made from paper. Natural beauty is the title. And um, she would have won a bronze in the adult not professional piece. And Nicholas Scandabury here, featuring our leader, our current Prime Minister, the Honorable Mia O'More Motley QC MP, Prime Minister of Barbados. And he would have done a very beautiful rendition of our beautiful Prime Minister here, winning a bronze award for this piece. So here we have our Prime Minister smiling, smiling away, and a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful um, fish, well done, mobile. In the, in the room and we have Joshua Critchlow from Ellerton Primary and won a bronze for this award here. Yes, beautifully done. Just tell us Melanie about uh, the piece here. You know, we have a visitor coming in to see the show. So tell us about how you feel about the piece and, and what engaged you about this piece. Talk to me. Well, I do a bit of line of cut, very, very informal and I am attracted by not just the scale, it's bigger than the tiles that I've used, but um, cleanness of the cut, details, there is this one I especially like, but this, the abstractness, I usually associate lino cut with, um, sorry, they don't call this lino cut, do they? Um, print making. Right. But it is a lino cut. <laughs> right. With just capturing details, but they actually made an abstract theme from it, Ghost in the Windows. I really love that. I really love that. So I'm stuck here for a little while looking at how they, uh, how they approached it. So you're visiting the exhibition today. How did you hear about the exhibition? Uh, By you email. Saw, you got an email about the exhibition? Yes, I did. Okay, and you're looking online as well. So what do you think about the talent and bringing it to the north and decentralizing Nifka? I love it because I don't get up to uh, and I'm here on Saturdays, my son goes to lessons, so I pop in. Mm -hmm. I'm upstairs in the library a couple hours doing my own studies, and mm -hmm. this is extremely convenient. Oh, wonderful. I'm glad that you can rest your eyes on these lovely pieces here. Yeah. Welcome, uh, welcome to the Nifka exhibition. Come right in. Yes. And come, Shelly, let's take us through the photography. You're sitting by a photography piece here. Hello. And let's see what you have here. Just describe to me. here in the north and what do you like about this piece? It's just nice. It's just nice, yes, yes. Just you just you respond well to it. Clean, very crisp. Put the black and black and white. black and white, yes, nice rhythm. So take us to the other room with our photographic pieces. And welcome to the Nifka show ma'am in the north. We have seven exhibition sites as well, three in Bridgetown at the General Post Office, the mutual building the First Citizens Bank, uh, the Supreme Court, uh, the Eric Holder Municipal Center, the whole town, uh, post office, and Spikes Town. So, feast your eyes. Yeah, let's take us to this room. This piece is from the Jasmine. Wow, Jasmine is very talented. Cop to silver for this piece. Uh, and she's in which the adults uh, category? Ninja? She's a junior. A junior? Oh, only 13 years old. Are you kidding me? First time entry? Wow, this is some talent here, you agree? Yes. And what do you have here again? This is He's age 15, though. Yes, please. And the piece is entitled On Plenier. I know we have On Plenier workshops, so it is very good to see the word On Plenier being used in photography as well. So take us to the last room, and uh, let's see how we can uh, finish finishing here. Uh, nice intimate exhibition. Uh, so we start with these pieces over here. There's a piece done by Xi'an Hall. Xi'an Hall in the north in Spikestown being featured, age 15. She wasn't awarded anything for that, but however she's the exhibition. Wow, but she got a goal for the other yes. pieces uh, in there. And we have here Daniel Edwards as well, age 10 in the nature category. Featured in Spike Stone Exhibition and Stephen Hines. Stephen Hines. Hines, correction, I'm very sorry. Uh, age 15 as well. And Ola you Gini. call this name Ola Shini. Ola Shini Lane. Ola Shini Lane. Uh, bringing up the rear with age 14. 
beautiful, beautiful flower, lovely colors. And over here, last but not least, we go to our other juniors where we finish. Uh, Amir Eastman, featured in the north. Age 16, very lovely done. Amir, you made me want to go to the beach and look at this flower. Very beautiful. Oh, nice depth of field here rendered by a 15 year old, Jordan Small in the juniors, junior category. And then we have finally uh, Gabriel Bino, age 13, only 13. And looking at my one of my favorite animals <laughs> here. And there are ducks and there is a piece that's entitled swimming. And um, you know, I want to just thank you, Shelly for featuring us in the Nifka exhibition. Shelly's a little shy, but um, no worries. Um, this is uh, about the show here we have, just to do a bit of a panoramic shot and just pan right around for you to just see the exquisite displays as you come on down to visit the show. We have until the 29th of November, and then you get your conkeys on the 30th. I'm putting in an early request, and uh, I want you to just visit the north of the island to feature one of our Primary satellite exhibition venues in the Nifka Visual Arts 2019 Photography Craft and Art Exhibitions. So without further much ado, I just want to thank you for spending some time with us and enjoying this wonderful show on display in the north for you. At the Republic Bank location, Republic Bank spikes down. We want to thank Republic Bank for offering us this space. And we want to thank the NCF for bringing the exhibitions to the public through this process. Peace.